Hi there and welcome to this morning's 10 minute practice for the hips. Coming onto your back. Okay, extending through the back, just settle there for, for one or two breaths. Bring the right knee in towards you and take the ankle on top of the left thigh. Bring the left knee in towards you and thread both hands around the back of the left thigh. Keep drawing in the left knee and gently pressing the right knee towards the top front corner of your mat. And take the left foot to the floor, keeping the ankle on the thigh, take the arms wide and bring the right foot all the way over onto the floor, onto the left. And maybe if it feels okay, you can slightly turn your head towards the opposite direction. Coming onto your back, switching over, take both feet to the floor to begin with, lift your left foot and place the ankle on top of the thigh. Lift the right leg up and take the hands around the back of the thigh feeling a stretch in the left hip. Take the arms out wide, bring the right foot to the floor and take everything over to your right, take the foot flat to the floor and if it feels okay, turning the head towards the opposite side. Come onto your back, take both feet to the floor and roll over onto one side, come into hands and knees. Facing the front of your mat. Making sure the wrists are under the shoulders and knees are under the ankle, knees are under the hips. Stretch your right leg back behind you. On an inhale, lift that right leg. Stretch the chest bone forward slightly and exhale round the back, pressing the hands into the ground. Knee comes in towards the chest. Inhale, extend, tipping the tailbone up slightly. Exhale. Inhale, round and stretch the back. Inhale, extend, tailbone lifts. Exhale, knee comes in, round the back, stretch in the back. Last time, inhale, extend, and exhale, knee to the floor. Extend the other leg, inhale to lift. And exhale, round the back, bring the knee in towards you. Inhale, extend, exhale, lift the belly into the back, round in the spine. Inhale, extend, exhale, round. One more time, extend, inhale, and exhale, knee to the floor. Tuck both feet under, so both sets of toes under, and move the hips back towards your heels. Keep the hands planted into the floor, press the hands into the floor, move the knees back and up, lifting the hips up towards the back wall behind you, or whatever you might have behind you. Lifting the hips up high, lifting the groins up, drawing the lower belly. And let's bend the knees as this is a morning practice. It's the first downward dog of the morning. Breathe in. Perhaps shuffling the feet back if they're a bit too far forward or maybe your feet are really far back and you need to come forward if you're feeling more like you're in a plank. Make sure you're creating roughly a triangle shape on the mat. Come back to your breath. Bring your right foot in slightly to the centre and inhale to lift the left foot. Exhale, knee comes forward to the chest, step the foot between the hands and take the back heel to the floor. Inhale yourself up to warrior two. Exhale, let the knees, the front knee drop, hips sink. Inhale in and exhale. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, reaching forward as far as you can. Standing into that back foot, turn your heart up to the sky, coming into Trikonasana. Slightly turning your tailbone under. Inhale to come up. Exhale, bend the front knee, take the forearm to the thigh, and reach the top arm overhead, stretching on the right side of your body. Inhale, come all the way up. Turn your toes forward along the long side of the mat and take the hands to the hips. Inhale here. Bend the knees slightly. Exhale, fold forwards. Bring your fingertips to the floor underneath your face. Inhale, extend through the chest. And exhale. 
exhale, bend the knees slightly, folding forwards. Slide your hands back if they, if you have the mobility in your hips or the openness in your hamstrings. Inhale, lift the heart. And exhale, walk your hands around to the other leg. So you're facing the back of your mat now. Take the back heel to the floor. Reach the left arm forward and cartwheel your arms up to warrior two on this side. Bend your front knee a little bit more. Couple of breaths here. Inhale, straighten your front leg. On an exhale, reach forward through that front hand and the lower hip moves back. Turn your heart up to the sky, coming into Trikonasana on the other side. Inhale to come up. Exhale, bend your front knee again. So to the right leg. Take the forearm to the thigh. Turn the heart up to the sky as you bring that top arm over. Drop your hips a little bit more. Inhale to come all the way up. Straighten that front leg. Take your hands to your hips and turn all the way around to the original front of your mat. Drop your hips and bend the front knee, having a, getting a little bit of a stretch in the front of the hip flexor on that back leg. If you have stability, steadiness, bring the arms up. Tucking the tailbone under slightly, but lifting out of your waist, so you're really long in the spine. And take your hands to the floor. Step the back foot to the top. Hands to the shins, inhale halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Exhale, hands to the heart. Step the left foot back into a lunge. Front foot can come out a bit wider if it's too narrow and you're wobbling. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back to downward dog. On an inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, bring the knee forward. And place the knee behind the right hand. And turn the right foot out. Take your left toes, the back toes, further away from you. And take the knee to the floor. Come to your fingertips, perhaps. Or you might need blocks. So this might be enough for you. You can also put a block under your right hip. You may be able to take the top of your back foot to the floor. If you feel like you have space, take your elbows to the ground. And you can even bring your forehead to the hands, depending on your practice. So it's totally okay to be really up high, and you might even need blocks underneath your hands. This is a short, short practice, so we're not staying too long. Come back to downward dog. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, knee behind the left wrist. Take the right knee to the floor. Shuffle that foot back slightly and maybe take the top of the foot to the floor. You could be staying up here on fingertips or hands on blocks. You might want to bring the elbows down to the ground. And you might want to take the ribcage, chest, forehead down even lower. The main thing is breathe. This is a short morning practice to wake the hips up, to wake your body up. So let's come back to downward dog. And take the knees to the floor. Cross your shins, sit back behind your heels and bring your legs back in front of you. Have the knees coming out to the side. And bring the hands onto the ankles. We're going to come to Bhadrakonasana, so reaching the heart forward. Keep opening through the arches, rounding the back only if you can easily get your forehead, ribcage, chest down nearly as low as the floor. Otherwise, stay extending through the spine, through the, out through the crown of your head, and breathe here. Keep lifting gently through the lower belly. Inhale, come all the way up. Bring your knees together. And come down all the way onto your back. 
Bring your knees in towards your armpits and take your hands around the back of your thighs. Encourage the knees in towards you. Lift the feet up above the knees and either keep your hands where they are around the thighs or take them around the ankles, shins or outer edges of the feet. And bring the feet together. Keeping the feet together, place them down on the floor and rest your arms either side of your body. So even though this is a really short practice, we always end a yoga practice with Shavasana. So you can either keep your knees relaxed out to the side, your feet together as you are, or extend your legs long onto the mat, coming into the classic version of Shavasana. Closing the eyes. Staying for as long as you need. Making sure that you stay for at least one or two minutes, maybe longer if you have the time and the will. Allow yourself to surrender here into the breath, knowing that you've given your body nourishment to start the day.